Hi Leo, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of October 15th through the 21st. This is for Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and Leo Rising Signs. I am using the Hanson Roberts Tarot Deck along with the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Interesting, okay. Interesting. All right, so we have the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, Leo, which is all about giving and receiving. Um, some of you could be very generous this week. Other Leos, you might be receiving, needing to be open to receiving. And that can be financial. Um, with the Six of Pentacles, it can be financial, but it doesn't have to be. It's something coming in, some sort of support or some sort of assistance coming in. The overall energy is the Nine of Rods, which is interesting. This is you persevering, not giving up, being incredibly strong. This person is determined. Uh, this is a very passionate, very courageous energy. This is someone who's exhausted. They've been through a lot. They're actually a warrior. They've been through a lot, but they're still standing and they've come this far and they're not about to quit anytime soon. This is someone who's persevering. So that's quite interesting. And, you know, for me, this very much reminds me of earth energy, um, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So you might have earth in your chart or some of you maybe you're just coming off as an earth sign here this week because this very much um, reminds me of earth energy and then you know i did pull a clarifying card and we have the queen of pentacles and so some of you could be coming off like this here this week this is you you know very determined you're not backing down yes yeah, some of you maybe feel exhausted you've you know, maybe you had a very long road or you're on this journey and, you know, it's it hasn't been the easiest, but you've come this far and you're not about to quit anytime soon. Um, and that's, you know, that's how an earth sign is. Very, very persistent and they don't give up easily. And so some of you coming off like this, others, this is maybe around financial matters or, um, something to do with finances or career um, with the Queen of Pentacles. For a few of you, it could be something to do with real estate, um, property, assets, something like that. But you're not, you're not going to give up so easily here. Now, with the Four of Swords, this is interesting. We have the Four of Swords with Judgment. And so this is actually some healing energy here. So you, some of you could have went through something, but... You know, here this week, you're beginning to heal with judgment. You're rising up from the ashes or rising up from a difficult time. For some of you, you know, maybe starting over in some way or, you know, going through some sort of um, healing process. Now, with the Four of Swords, you could be taking a break. You could be spending some time alone here this week, Leo. You know, with the Nine of Swords, you might have been losing sleep, overly worried about something, but here you could be actually catching up on your sleep. With the Nine of Swords, you know, maybe you haven't been sleeping well for the past few weeks, and so this is a week that maybe you're taking some time off of work, or maybe you're just going to spend a lot of time alone here and catch up on your sleep, get some rest. Some of you definitely need to recharge. You're exhausted. And this is definitely physically for some of you. For others, I mean, it could be mentally and emotionally as well. This is definitely you recharging your batteries, Leo. And I feel like that's what's needed. You know, to be honest, that's really what's needed. Some of you need more sleep. You know, with the Nine of Cups here, I feel like some of you need to treat yourself. You need to enjoy good food. You need to go out and, and, and you know, maybe do things that you enjoy. Hobbies, things that make you very happy. You need to splurge on yourself. And so, you know, whatever it is that makes you happy. You know, eating good food. Um, for some of you, maybe going shopping. Whatever it may be. Some of you, you know, that's what I feel here. You need to treat yourself. You need to pamper yourself. 
because some of you, maybe you've just been working so hard with a two of pentacles here. Maybe you've just been juggling multiple different things. You've had a lot going on. For others, you need to quiet your mind. You might need to distract yourself, keep yourself busy. And then, you know, we have, you know, what's interesting is we have judgment, we have the world, um, and then we have the Wheel of Fortune. These are some big, major arcanas. Um, and with the world, a chapter or a, or a phase of your life, Leo, could be completing. And so, you know, we're always completing cycles, but this might be a longer period of time for some of you. A phase or a chapter of your life that's completing and you're going through this process right now you know I always say with the world it's a process easing out of one chapter easing into the next and it's not something that happens overnight so some of you you're in this process you've been going through it um, and it might not have been the easiest for you but you're going through it and for me the world is a very blessed energy and with the Wheel of Fortune, you know, you are very much dealing with higher forces, divine timing, things happening when they're meant to happen, how they're meant to happen. And so while you're kind of going through this process, it, for some of you, there's like a need to surrender, you know, just basically needing to have faith, you know, throughout this process, needing to listen to your intuition, but needing to surrender, um, and just be open to things happening maybe differently than you had planned and also maybe at a different pace than you had planned so things happening as they need to happen so needing to kind of surrender and just give it up to god you know um, needing to have faith and needing to trust because you are very much completing for some of you you're completing a chapter And if you felt unlucky, you know, that you know, this is your luck turning around with judgment. If you went through a difficult period, you're rising up from that. For some of you, you are moving towards a wish come true or this emotional abundance. And what's interesting is we have the two nines. Three nines, technically with the nine of rods here is the overall energy. Three nines along with the wheel of fortune, which is a 10, the world, and we already have a one here, which is the ace of swords. And so for many of you, you're definitely completing, for some of you it's a cycle, for others it's like a chapter, a very long period of time that's like coming to a close and you're embarking on that next chapter. If some of you have been juggling financially, You know, we have help with the Six of Pentacles, some sort of help that's coming in. There could be some Leos that you are waiting on, like a legal judgment of some kind. The Ace of Swords is a card of victory, but it's victory after overcoming some obstacles. So we have this Ace of Swords and we have the Wheel of Fortune. And so this is good luck coming in, success coming in, but it's going to happen, you know, how it's meant to happen. And if you've had like a long-term legal matter that's been ongoing for some of you, that could be coming to a close. You know, it just depends on which Leo you are, but very, very interesting reading, but it's incredibly positive and you have some um, pretty powerful energies here that you're working with, which is good because some of you, I feel like you're tired, you're physically exhausted. But you are literally embarking on that next chapter, that next phase. But let's pull you an additional guidance card, Leo. You might be a Leo that needs to make an important decision. If you are making an important decision here this week, spend some time alone. Ground, your, ground yourself, spend some time alone. And, and definitely go within, listen to your intuition. All right, interesting. So I wanna take the one that is upright and then I wanna actually pull another card here. Leo, let's see what other guidance we have for you, Leo, for this week. 
Leo. from these. Interesting. Okay. We actually have self-employment. You're a born entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities. And so some of you, this is on the job front. Maybe you've been stressing or worried about finances, waiting on maybe something to come through. For some of you, you could be, you know, maybe uh, embarking on starting your own business, being self-employed. For, for others, you know, when this card comes out, it's, it's speaking about career. Um, so maybe you have an important decision to make as far as changing jobs or as far as employment. And then we also have worthiness. This is interesting. Know that you deserve to receive good in all ways. So that's quite interesting because we have this six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, which for me can represent you needing to be more open or needing to be more receptive to receiving. And so here it's, you know, this is interesting with worthiness here. Some of you need to believe in yourself or believe that you deserve to receive these opportunities, these blessings that are coming your way. Maybe some of you have been doubting yourself um, as far as maybe you starting your own business, maybe doubting that you, know, you would be successful, but I think that you're definitely going to be. You have you know, this amazing energy to work with, Leo. All right. So I hope that you found this reading uh, helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading, please check out northeasttarot.com. I wish you guys a great week.